Welcome to Time Out for Marriage. When husband and wife marry, they leave the home of their parents and they are united to their spouse. In the biblical language, they cleave to their spouse. Unfortunately, this process of letting go can be a difficult one. And in-laws often become a source of conflict between husband and wife. I'd like to offer a few basic principles for navigating this relationship with in-laws. First of all, make love your aim. That is, allow Christ to love your in-laws through you. Secondly, showing respect. Given the lifetime of experience that our in-laws have, they often have some wisdom to offer to particular situations and asking for their input is a way of showing respect to them. You may not agree with it. You may not take their advice, but to ask for it to show that kind of respect is a good thing. Thirdly, to pray for your in-laws and to pray for your relationship with them. Not the kind of prayers of asking God to change anybody, but simple prayers of asking God's mercy. Lord, have mercy on so-and-so. Grant this person your peace and your love and bring peace and harmony to our relationship. Very simple prayers. And finally, to work on being on the same page with your spouse regarding this relationship with in-laws, whether it's with a particular in-law or whether it's with a unit of an in of in-laws, a mother-in-law and a father-in-law. And sometimes that can be difficult because you may feel like your spouse may be very influenced by his or her parents. So finding a way to be on the same page and making mutual decisions about how you're going to navigate this relationship what boundaries and limitations you may need to have in regard to how much time you spend with them, how you communicate with them, how often you communicate with them, and those sorts of things. And this can take years for younger couples to grow to the point of being on the same page regarding the relationship with in-laws. It takes time and it doesn't always happen easily and quickly. So, make love your aim, show respect, pray for your in-laws and your relationship with them, and finally, keep working at being on the same page with your spouse doing together. Until next time.